Welcome to the Mischief. I'm Valen, and this is Monster Sanctuary, a free demo that I obtained. I will have links in the description below. I highly recommend you check this out. I'm telling you straight up front, this is a really good game. Uh, so let me uh, start off with a new thing here. As you can see, it's kind of like a bit of, bit of, I don't know, Pokemon meets pixel art meets all sorts of other really cool stuff. Uh, allow me to start a new game and I'll read you the description in the process. Um, so we're going to name my character here. There we go. My dude. Yep. Totally going with my dude. So Monster Sanctuary is a land far from any other human civilization. While wild monsters are dangerous to humans, monsters raised by them grow loyal to their owners. Most of the people of Monster Sanctuary live in the Keeper's Stronghold, which of course is what you're seeing in the background here. Many of them learn to raise and train monsters. They call themselves Monster Keepers. Among the most prestigious Monster Keepers, there are four prominent and old bloodlines tied to Monster Sanctuary's history. Each of those bloodlines is aided by a spectral familiar. Those familiars are ageless protectors of their family, passed on from one keeper to the next. My dude is a young and aspiring monster keeper, and this is just the beginning of his path to become a monster keeper. And here we are here, starting out naming my familiar. Wolf? Psh, that won't do. There we go. Goodest boy. <laughs> I think that's much more appropriate. Monsters are wild things. The only reason I'm helping you is the bond I share with your family, says Goodest Boy. Most monsters are less inclined than me to help you. That is why you must always raise your own monsters. They will grow alongside you just as I will, and they'll fight for you. The best way to gain a monster's loyalty is to hatch it from its egg. Of course, you'll have to fight to get those monster eggs. Look at the blob over there. It's pretty cute, gotta say. <laughs> Initiate a fight by going near him. But before we do, allow me to read you a, a, a brief blurb by the creator of this game, Dennis Sinner, uh, who is the, the sole person responsible for making this game. Uh, he's spent like over two years making everything about this game. He uses a little bit of like some sound bites from like free sound stuff, but that's about it. Um, so it's, as the youngest heir of an ancient bloodline of proud monster keepers, you step out into the world to follow. In your ancestors' footsteps, you will gather a party of monsters to grow and train. Meanwhile, a series of unsettling events worries the, unex the experienced keepers of the monster sanctuary. This is the beginning of a journey to unravel the cause of this mystery that threatens the pace, peace excuse me, between humans and monsters. Monster Sanctuary is the idea of combining monster collecting, turn-based combat, and Metroidvania-like exploration. Keep that in mind. So here we go, I got close to this guy. And you can choose already... Monsters. We only have one to choose from, so we're just going to go with Goodest Boy. We're going to start combat fighting this slime. And we have multiple abilities. Go to the left, I can attack, I can use items. I can check out the enemy's information. He has a weakness to wind attacks. He has very low attack himself, decent health, and some uh, magic abilities. If you look at the little icons, it's uh, attack, magic, defense, health, and magic. Or uh, mana, rather. So... Let's skip the enemy info. Let's get into this. Uh, so he's got... Uh, actually, I could also just select over him. You can see he's got a wind weakness. We're going to use Air Sickle because at the bottom there it says it's physical damage, but it uses wind as an effect. So let's do that. Throw a whole bunch of wind attacks at this little slimy dude. And he uses Bubble Burst on us. Took a little bit of damage, but we're okay. So if you look here, I can choose this. And you can see the estimated damage that it will do to the enemy. Ice Hail, Air Sickle. You know what? We're going to keep going with Air Sickle and hope for the best. Well, it looks like it was actually really accurate <laughs> as to how much damage it was going to do. Now, that is just a, a guess representation. It has a little bit of RNG with how much damage it's going to do. Uh, and you see we've got, like, action points underneath the little icon at the top there. Uh, and it tells you how many action points it uses at the end of each round. I regain some of those. Thus why I have some of these different abilities and stats uh, on my character. But let's just finish him off with the air sickle. And we'll use some more abilities as we go. 
Victory! Three turns. I was 51% healthy at the end of it. No, not much overkill damage, but we do get, look, a blob egg. It's a rare drop, uh, but as this is the very beginning of this demo, you're going to get it for free. So we're going to move on. Got a little tiny bit of XP. There we go. You received a blob egg. Now you need to hatch it. Open the inventory menu and try to hatch it. Sounds good. Inventory. Blob egg. Hatch. It's very similar to Pokemon, but like like kind of a Terraria feel to it. And it's like 2D and I don't know. I, I really like getting into this, but I hatched a blob. We're a blob. That That's just not going to do. We're going to have to do better than that. There we go. Instead of Bobby, we're calling him Blobby. That'll have to do. <laughs> so now we have Blobby and Goodest Boy both in here and they will have different things. You can actually, um, once they level up, you can, you know, get them stuff. But they start off with wooden sticks. Most most of them do. You can select through their stat, their categories and stuff. And you can see, wow, Goodest Boy is so much better, right? But the thing is, they're going to have different abilities as well. I don't have any other things I can equip them with. But you can see the different skills that each one will start with. In this case, I've got Acid Rain, Arcane Bolt, Heal, Slime Shot, and then you can actually trail out further with their different abilities. Let's do a little bit of XP under our belt so we can, uh, well, level these guys up. That's your first monster you hatched by yourself! Right now it's weak, so you'll need to train it. There's much more for you to learn, too. You and that blob are quite alike. <laughs> Soft, green, and squishy. Next, we should find old Baran. He always has a lot of patience for young keepers like you. So let's move on. See what we can find. Mountain path. Uh-oh. A couple of blobs got close to it. So we could choose monsters. I could just choose one monster if I want. This one. And then, you know, any others I have in my group. But I, I, I'm going to choose them both because that's what I've got. Uh, otherwise, I could just hit start combat. And we can go from there. So these guys, they have a weakness to wind as well. Same as before. We're going to try doing that. Go, goodest boy. You can do it. All right. And then we've got our little blobby boy here, Arcane Bolt, which does neutral damage for attacks or heal in case we get a lot of damage. But we don't really mind about that. We're just going to go for the biggest damage we can do and try and take out this dude here. There we go. Lots of zaps. And he is done. Well, he will be soon. Ouch. He does a bit of zaps back at us. And, yeah, and we're not doing so hot there, so we're probably going to want to do something about that. Let's take this guy out. I'm just going to keep using the airstrikes for now because they're, they're just most effective. But this guy's going to heal himself. Zoop. He is made of jelly after all, so why not? This will guarantee that he'll survive through this other slime attack and uh, perhaps gain enough XP to continue on. You can see these other attacks still just don't do quite as much damage as the air attack. All right, let's do the arcane bolt and try and finish this guy off in the next round. Is he going to heal? No, he's going to attack. And each one of these enemy types should have similar uh, or some of the same uh, skills and effects that you might have. So in the in this case, I don't have to go with goodest boy first. I can go with uh, Blobby, and he could heal himself or others first, but uh, as I just want to finish this guy off, I will do so. And there's good reason for that, because the faster and more efficient you kill your enemies, the more likely you are to get better loot. If you look here, rare loot chance, 30%, 3 stars. If I uh, increase that ability, then I'm more likely to get better drops, and even eggs and things like that. So we're going to continue on though, get a little bit more XP, and keep going. Based on the effectiveness of your combat strategy, you get a rating of 1 to 5 stars. Earning a higher rating increases your chances of getting better drops, like rare monster eggs. Mm. Therefore, allowing you to get more of these little monsters to help you on your quest and journey. But, let's continue on. Yes, I can jump really high with this guy. And you can jump even further. But look, we've got a little, little like fire caterpillar and some kind of potato plant looking rock dude. I don't know. Let, let's go say hi to these guys. Alright, just hit start combat. We're not going to bother retreating. We're, we're gonna just totally attack. Oh no, my, my blobby boy is up front. Doesn't really matter. The uh, the order of which they are from what I uh, was uh, experiencing so far doesn't really make a difference. But if we take a look here, we've got this guy with a water weakness and this guy here with the fire weakness. Well, we don't have either of those. <laughs> so we might as well just go with what we can do the most damage on. And that's gonna be this little uh, magma pillar here, whatever his name is. Uh, so 
You've, we've got air sickle, ice hail, and claws. You know what? None of these, uh, the ice hail and air sickle, don't really do anything in particular. But I know that the claws do a little bit more damage than the other stuff. So I might as well go with that. But there is a drawback with that, and that is the number of attacks can mean a big difference. This is something that uh, there's a lot of different mechanics added into this. Ouch. And now I'm on fire. Which, it can be cured though, so I could use Blobby here to try and uh, fix that. We're going to have him heal. And you see that that like, healed him three times. Reason being that that is actually a good thing is because if you look on the top left it says combo 3. Damage 115%. So what that means is that I'm going to be able to do more damage um, to enemies with the, more, the, with the higher combo multiplier on this. So we're just going to try and take out this Magma Pillar right now. Slash Slash. And there he goes. Done. And we're getting Leaf Slash tossed at us. You know, I think we can we can probably manage that. We'll survive the burn and we'll just go straight out offense on this guy. In hopes that we'll be able to take him out before too much badness happens. Now this guy has a Fire Weakness. Claws. Ice. Air Sickle. None of them have any special secondary effects or anything, so we're just going to keep going. And this guy decided to just start punching us, which, while not that effective, was effective enough to do, to do a bit of damage. We're just going to finish him off now. There we go. Double slash. Done. Victory. And rare loot chance. Oh, no eggs. There we go. Leveled up. Excellent. As your monsters gain experience in combat, they will increase in level. This allows them to gain new skills. You should take a look at the skill tree menu. Sounds good to me. We're going to do that with the goodest boy here. And we can now choose and unlock different things. We can up his claws ability to level 2, which is going to increase the percentage of damage that he does. Uh, we could also do that with Ice Hail, which would do the same thing here, but it also adds in an extra attack. Ooh, so that could be really good. Then extra numbers might increase the combo bonus for others. Air Sickle, which is also going to be uh, a little higher damage for uh, air. Or I could even just branch out further and go with Spectral Flame. You might think, well, this one, it, it might not be that effective. You know, it's just neutral damage. I already have neutral damage, but it could also unlock other abilities. Don't forget that this is also magical damage, whereas this is physical damage. So some things will have different resistances and, and so on. Just well, similar to Pokemon, not exactly the same, but you know, you got your whole, uh, like, different elements affecting different ways, weaknesses and strengths. But then, by unlocking this, I might also gain other things, like this. It's a passive ability. Hybrid Mastery. Increases attack by 10% of monsters' magic, and increases magic by 10% of monsters' attack. So this basically increases a, a, good, a good amount of stuff passively, just automatically for this mob, because I unlock this, and, uh, well, oops, I'm, I'm kind of shooting all over the place, but it, it, I would unlock this, and then I could spend another point later on to unlock that as well. But for now, I think I'm going to go for something really basic and go with the double claws just because it's going to be really effective. Now, of course, now I, I could have chosen lifesteal. I heal by 20% of the damage dealt every time that I do damage. It's pretty good. I might do that next time, but for now, we're just going to keep going. So, let's keep looking at what we've got ahead. Ooh, treasure. A cestus. Okay, let's equip Goodest Boy with a cestus. This is great. It increases all sorts of stats on here. His defense, his magic offense, his uh, uh, regular attack damage plus damage reduction. Cool. It also looks like some kind of metal gauntlet that fits on a, a puppy's paw. So I, I am all in favor of this. <laughs> it's probably not what it's actually intended for, but let's talk to this man here. Hey friend, you're just starting as a monster keeper, right? You just find some equipment for your monsters already? You can make your monsters stronger by equipping them. Simple and effective, right? I got a kunai, which I can now equip that on this guy, maybe? Yeah, look at that. That's pretty good, too. Mana regen, offense and defense. Or I could do it on this, actually. No, I think I'm all right with this one. Works for me. And there's other treasure chests to be found in the world. Oh, can't quite reach that one. I might have to come back later on when I've got some special abilities. A hide, huh? All right, well, let's equip this. That sounds like an accessory. It is. Defense and health. Well, this guy's a little squishier than the goodest boy, so I'm going to put it on him. Because his defense is almost one half of goodest boy. 
so he's going to take a lot more damage when he is hit. But for now, let's keep going, see what else we can come across. Alright, here yeah, we've got some more enemies. I'm going to continue fighting these guys and I'll be back when something of interest that uh, I can show you a little bit more about happens. Hey, four stars. Rare loot chance is increased. And we didn't get anything too bad though. Just regular copper. There we go. We now have Blobby here can be leveled up. We can choose some new abilities, special stuff, applies a sorcery buff. Ooh, magic skills deal an extra 20% damage. That's not bad. Or we can increase the healing ability, or even unlock some special, like, slime shot, which does a uh, poison debuff as well as some earth damage. Or we can choose some water damage and an armor break debuff. Not too bad. Sometimes it's worthwhile just to look ahead to see what you want to end up unlocking in the future. Some of these won't have a lot of damage, or uh, if you're just looking to up the stats of your character, that's where you can go instead. In this case, I'm going to go with Acid Rain. I realize we do already have a magic water attack, but I like that armor break debuff. There we go. There we go, water weakness and a debuff of armor break. That should make this guy rather quick to uh, eliminate. Ooh, I could go with Claws or, yeah, let's go with Ice Hail just to make sure that we've got that Water Weakness being used. Quick and easy. So yes, as you notice, there is a slight difference between this and a Pokemon battle. You fight with multiples of your team at a time versus multiples of the enemy at a time. So there's no rotating through individuals anymore. Instead, it's uh, pretty much just take them out as quick as you can. Uh, let's go with Acid Rain just so I can get that armor break. Now I realize that he has a fire weakness. Uh, I don't really have any fire to fight him with. As I progress and start getting more of these monsters, I should be able to uh, vary my abilities to attack, though. Alright, four stars. Oh, and we got a magma pillar egg. Excellent! So let's, let's actually hatch that right away. Let's do inventory magma pillar. Yes! Cool! We've got our own little magma pillar. We're gonna have to fix that, too. There we go. Squinchy. Perfect. Now, <laughs> there is something else in my inventory. Notice this? I have an apple. What good's an apple? You can give it to your characters and recent meals, their last three meals, will stick with them as some sort of stat bonus. In this case, I'm going to give it to Goodest Boy. And he's going to gain a bonus to his mana. Excellent. So, that's all I have for food at the moment, though, but we can always upgrade Squinchy here. We already have this Ignite ability, which will uh, apply a burn debuff at the end of every round. The enemy will take some fire damage. Uh, we can get that Arcane Bolt ability that the, our little uh, slimy blobby dude has. Um, we do have a barrier effect, which will uh, applies a barrier buff to the whole team. So this uh, people take 25% less damage, or we can upgrade that to regeneration as well and get a couple of uh, group buffs or further than that because I, I really like the magma pillars um the, you can get shield which is like this uh, regenerating extra pool of hit points on your characters um so it, it's pretty darn good as well um oh gosh so many choices or you can even upgrade further your uh, ignite ability which will set them on fire to apply shield to a party when an enemy receives burn uh, damage equal to 10% of each monster's max health. So it's it's just really, really good. Um, in this case, though, let's go with just a new ability. Uh, I like the shield one. It's just a really interesting mechanic. To add in the temporary hit points, you can always upgrade it from 60% to 80%. Uh, the mana shield procs, which is really, really good. Anytime that you hit somebody with something like your ignite ability, your little, uh, my, my squinchy guy here would end up getting uh, a lot of extra bonus shields, which would really, it's really, really uh, beefs him up as sort of like a bit of a tank in a way. All right, just going to get a little bit of loot along the way, and we'll be on our, on our way to Old Burra. So we've got our little uh, squinchy guy here who has barrier and shield. Let's actually use barrier first 
you can see that it's going to put a, there we go, a little positive buff on our party. And that gave us an extra bonus to our combo, of course. So the damage by Goodest Boy is going to be uh, up to 130%. Not bad. Uh, it's not still, still not going to be enough to take out this level 3 blob, but we are going to do our best to try and finish him off. Of course, he is going to heal, but we will be able to uh, do a little bit better with that as we go. So let's see here. We have healing options. We have more buffs and damage. Uh, let's let, we could do shields or we could do heal. You know, let, let's do a heal, and then we could also do that shield effect on our party. And you'll see a little blue area in their hit point uh, meters that will increase slowly over time unless they're hit. In which case, those temporary hit points will be used up first. So let's see what we can do to try and reduce the damage, or do more damage to this little blob over here. Of course, he's just going to constantly keep healing himself, making himself a bit of a pain. That darn flower potato needs to go as well. Uh, that won't be enough to f take him out. He's got a wind weakness, so I might just skip that and go with... Hmm. Oh, wait. Fire weakness. Hey, ignite is fire. That sounds perfect. We're going to do that first. And then we're going to switch over to this guy here because his air sickle is going to be more than enough to take out this blob. And it will beef up the attack of the last attacker on here. See, the combo is going to go up to combo 7. Then we can do like an acid rain. But I think that guy is kind of like a plant. So we're going to probably do arcane bolt. Yeah, Arcane Bolt it is. Now, I could have done that Acid Rain and broken his shields, but I'm pretty sure we're just going to take him out next round anyway. Leaf Slash all you want. It's not going to be enough. Okay. Let's just switch straight over to Goodest Boy. Oh, he's not going to be able to do that. Not in one hit. That's all right. We will just make sure that he ends up going down. With a bit of an armor break, uh, that effect... Oh, yeah, he got armor break and he's burning. So now if I just do a regular claw attack, he should be out of the picture. There we go. Four stars. And we got a potato. That's good, no good news. More skill points that we can add in as well. Uh, as you can see, you can just keep on upping these things here, which they're just really, really good to... To add in these extra things here now, right here, lifesteal. Every time he does damage, he, he does 20% of it back as health. That's just really, really strong. But there, there's tons more you can do. Um, when you get more than six of these guys, you'll have a list at the bottom that uh, will show you guys things. You also have a map as you go, which is in the top right there, the number of keys you might run into. I'm actually going to switch over to my other party at this point, and uh, we're going to take a look at a little bit more of an advanced group. All right, here we go. I've got a bunch of level nine characters here. And you can see that we are over by another one of the uh, students that has a spirit animal. He's got like a little spirit frog. We've got our, our guy here. I did not I did not name these guys appropriately. They, this was just part of a test group that I was running. I, I spent a bit of time on this. Like I said, it's a really, really good game. You can see that each one of these characters has tons of different uh, uh, stats and stuff on here. And you're gonna wanna be able to choose which ones you wanna run with as you go. And you notice down in the bottom, I've got this one, little cat Zerker. <laughs> They're just really good. Each one has different uh, special abilities. I've got a Vero. I've got a Rocky Atengu, who's like this little fire spirit dude. It's pretty darn cool. Uh, if we look at the skills, you can see that uh, I've been leveling these guys up quite a bit. I've got a lot of different abilities. Um, the Vero actually does a ton of extra bonus damage and buffs and stuff. And of course, we've got our little wolf spirit here, which is just pretty maxed out. At level 10, it opens up this next tier, which gives you a whole bunch of other stuff. And you can see that the level 20 and 30 are all work in progress right now, as this is a demo, and it will be on Kickstarter soon, if you're watching this. Uh, you can check out the, uh, the stuff down below, but I believe that we're about to fight some kind of boss here. Hello, Will. The, that's a champion monster. I, I don't think I'm ready for this. I have an idea. I'll stay at a distance to study its behavior. <laughs> no problem. We'll take care of this guy here. And no, I haven't fought this guy yet. But you can see over here, uh, he's got a fire weakness and he's a boss monster. 
So we can choose our monsters that we want to fight him with. As he has a fire weakness, I'm going to keep my magma pillar in here because he is very good for that. I could pop in a Tengu as well because he is very fire dependent, but he's not very strong otherwise. Uh, I really like the buffs that I get from my Viero, so I'm going to keep him in there. And of course, I've got to keep the wolf, the spirit wolf, just because he's he's just he's just a spirit wolf. He, he's a good all-around character to have because he does magic and uh, uh, non-magic attacks. So we're just going to go with the group we have, and we're going to fight this guy as kind of the uh, the end to the video, if you will. So, depending upon the characters, how you start, you want your biggest attacker to go last because they're just going to build that combo multiplier. Usually, I start off with a barrier with my magma pillar here. And then we've got our Viero, which, or uh, whatever, whatever our, this guy's name is, I can't remember. The, the little bird dude. <laughs> he has uh, some of these special buffing abilities. Sidekick, which will basically give everybody an extra attack. Might, which will increase uh, everybody's damage by 20%. They're both really good. I'm gonna go for Sidekick because it's going to have two effects. One, it gives everybody an extra attack and it will also boost the dam the combo multiplier ultimately uh, the sooner in I have this. So we're going to go with that. Tossing out a bunch of buffs first thing, especially when fighting a boss. Now if you notice, uh, our little uh, flighty dude there has another ability that just popped on him. He's got a special skill that will randomly generate an extra buff on your characters. So it's really, really cool. Alright, so let's try our little wolfy friend here. And as this guy's uh, weak to fire, my air attack, water attack, not really going to do too much about it. But the claws should have a better uh, damage possibility. You can see there's not much that it's going to do for damage. Like look at Ice Hail does even less, Air Sickle even less still, Spectral Flame not so much. So we're just going to do a little bit of damage to start. And he's chilled because that's one of the abilities he has, which reduces the amount of mana this guy can get in a battle. I really like the uh, the A counters B, B counters C, C counters A type of uh, uh, relationship that all this has uh, playing these little characters. And especially the art is just really, really refreshing and cool. I like it a lot. Uh, so we've got barriers up. Let's get some healing in place now that we've started taking some dam damage. Everybody will regenerate health uh, as they go throughout this. Now we did sidekick before to gain extra attacks. Now let's do might to make those attacks do more damage. There we go. See, we're still doing a lot of buffs. Lots of buffs at the beginning. Not to worry. We've got our wolf spirit here that's going to constantly keep kicking in the damage. Oh, he's doing a lot more now. And he, th this guy being a boss monster gets extra attacks. Oof. And extra abilities. Special stuff might happen. Uh, so he might even get multiple turns on his side. It all depends. So we've got barrier. We've got regeneration. Let's just add in a shield for good measure. Because I don't know that the regeneration is going to be able to keep up with his uh, attacks. Especially after that. Now, here we go. If I choose this guy to start attacking. I could use this beating ability. Where he will just beat this guy to death. Right? 5 attacks. 40%. 200 percent physical damage neutral well let's try checking out the file start six attacks Ooh, and it's wind based which doesn't really make a difference this is four attacks which even weaker but it, it does use less of my uh my well uh action points but featherstorm as it increases my combo meter is what i'm going to go for even though it does the same damage as the other items or maybe the tied with the rest of them so that just did eight extra hits. It's pretty darn good. So now if I use the wolf, he's going to be able to get an extra damage boost of 155% on his stuff. So now we're going to do that claw attack and get that bonus extra attack from the uh, that buff that we got early on. There we go. And... All right, so in this case, we're going to go with Ignite, which actually does a decent amount of damage. It'll also add that burn effect, which will be an ongoing damage multiplier at the end. So that's going to help our uh, future combos as well as damage. So let's... and he's also weak to fire. I forgot about that. We're doing that. <laughs> and you can see he built up his own shields with that special ability that uh, I had unlocked for him already. We're going to continue on with the Feather Storm here just to beef up that combo multiplier even further. 
And then we're going to have our big hitter end everything with his big claw attack. You can see we're doing even more damage each time now that we've got all these buffs out and going. Alright, at this point it should be fairly straightforward. I think we've got this guy way more than beat. I mean, we're just building up shields at this point on most of our group. And we just constantly keep on pouring on standard damage at this point, building up those combos, and constantly just over and over again smashing this guy's defenses down. And of course there's our shields back again. He's just doing a bit of damage to one character that has a heavy shields. He's kind of t punishing our little bird guy, but uh, his shields and healing it seems to be keeping up with it. So I, I don't think that there's much to worry about at this point. It's just going to be ongoing stuff, building up shields, and as before, constantly taking this guy down a little bit at a time. Alright, and here we go. This is probably going to finish him off at this point. I don't even know if I need to go with Ignite. Maybe I can finish him off with a regular claw attack. There we go. That way it uh, cuts down on our overall, well, rating score, or, well, increases its ability. Only three stars. Well... There is a chance that you can also fight these bosses over again and get better drops from them. Maybe even get an egg. But uh, yeah, there we go. We got a crit ring for our uh, efforts. And just about everybody leveled up. <laughs> just about. Most of them went up to level 9 or 10. Cool. You ascended to Keeper Novice rank. Enemy minimal level raised to 10. New items available at Traders. Infinity Arena is now available in the Keeper Stronghold. Wow, you did it! You're braver than me. I thought I was prepared for it, but once I saw this champion, I felt paralyzed. By the way, did you also meet this suspicious person earlier? You two are still here? Did you find any champion monsters? Yes. We just defeated one by... He just defeated one by himself. What? You must have confused it with a regular monster. <laughs> yeah, not all of these people are uh, that helpful. What a big-headed guy. Anyway, I'll go back to the keep and try to find something out about the suspicious person we met. And there you go. This is just a brief sample. This is the end of the demo that I, I just did here. Uh, there's a lot in between there that I will leave to you guys to explore. There's still some chests hidden here and there if you'd like to continue exploring. Also, if you find and beat all three champions, you can unlock the Infinity Arena and the Keeper Stronghold, which I did. So therefore, I have some playability still with this demo to go. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I do, like I said, recommend that you check out at least the demo, if not the game itself. And then you guys uh, yourself, whoa, this jump is super high. Uh, you, you guys yourself can also check out and perhaps even support this game on Kickstarter, as it will be coming to Kickstarter soon. Uh, from what I understand, it'll be uh, showing up in September of uh, 2018. So if you enjoyed, please be sure to give a like, comment, subscribe. And as always, be sure to spread the mischief to others if you think that they'll enjoy this kind of content too. And if you want to support the mischief, please feel free to check out the links in the description below. Until next time, folks, I'll see ya.